Hello ladies, welcome back to my podcast again. Um, as you might have seen in my Instagram stories, I asked uh, why are we the price? Um, in a lot of um, hypergamous YouTube channels or uh, Instagram profiles, they say we are the price, but very little is uh, actually talked uh, why are we the price you know and I was like hmm let's let's talk about this let's ask people what do they think I had some I had um, my own opinion about this but I really wanted to know your opinion as well and and the sad thing is that only one people actually reminded me uh, re um, sorry and the only one person actually responded to my question and um, another one was um, something about instant ex social exposure i digress um so I want to do this as a mix. Um, um, I want to mix this with some motivational speak. So here we go. So you are asking me why are you the price? When you wake up every day early, even if you don't want to, you put some makeup and whatever you need to, to look the best for the world. You ask me why are you the price when you take care of yourself physically, mentally and spiritually. You don't easily give up your level up game and even in those days when you feel down, in the end, you figure out how to get the energy to move on and do better than yesterday, like you always do. You are disciplined, and that's as rare as a unicorn. You are intelligent, feminine, and even if you, don't, you know the world is not fair, you help people. You you ask yourself why are you the price but keep in mind that when in the past when you didn't act like you were the price the only response you received is uh, um, so men low valuable men treating you like trash as and like a disposable tissue they use you and then they throw you away when you weren't as, as useful as before. A lot of men would like to be on your side, not only because of your looks, also because of the energy you irradiate. Your body is wonderful. You are not only able to create a new life, but you are also able to get a house and convert it into a home when a family can grow. You are valuable and the, the lucky gentleman that can get you will be or is already proud of you. You are exclusive and being with you is a privilege. You don't give your, your body easily to everyone and let's let's face it that's a uh, lower chances of getting a weird disease or unwanted pregnancy <laughs> you you are blessed and you know what you want and that we need more people like you in our society you know you know your worth and you don't expect less and if you work and you are the price because you work hard every day to become the best mother your future children can get and if you're already a, a mother you work hard to be better than you already are
So, if all these reasons couldn't uh, make you think you are the price, then I don't know how to convince you. Here ends the scripted part of this episode. You can listen to it as much as you need and whenever you forget, you are the price. And for boosting your self-esteem. Now I wanted to talk about this with a more relaxed tone, you know? Sorry, um, we have been always taught that it's okay to forgive everything from a man and building him. I, before recording this uh, this episode, I saw a YouTube video about a man that was talking about hypergamous woman and the good men that we discard. Um, but um, to resume it a little bit, he was saying that he wanted a ba Barbara, Barbara or Bob the Builder chick. And in the comments, I saw, I saw a, an actually a woman that said, um, and she was an engineer, and she met her husband when he only had a diploma and a 65k job which at the time was more than her income and he wasn't happy at his job and she offered to take care of the bills while he went to school um, he graduated um, they Um, and she built him to just to sum up and you know I'm seeing these comments and in the end she says um, he's so nice to me and I feel so safe when my husband is around too and And their, be and their beautiful house is um, very big and he's a top executive engineering leader, whatever, whatever. I'm not going to say the name of this person. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make people go to the comments and say this and that. But it's... Mm, it shocks me right now mm, when I see this that um, a woman uh, with a lower income than a man she offers herself to cover the bills um, in the past I will say yeah that's pretty normal but right now I'm seeing this and I'm pretty shocked you know Um, listen, the, this woman doesn't know she's the price, actually. She doesn't know that. If she thought she was the price, she wouldn't be building an, a full-grown man. You only build your children, because they are your children, but I... I can't think of any reason to build a grown man. I'm not his mother. And even when children grow up and become men, they shouldn't be built by their mother either. They have to figure it out, you know. Also, we have been told that we have to chase a man and we have to like audition for a relationship you know them 
show that we are valuable, we are wife material, you know. Mm. It's really funny that these things because mm, this is teaching up and teaching us in in a subtle way that us in a very subtle way that we are not good enough if we have to go through struggle love or audition for a relationship then that could mean we are not valuable right so um think about it if our mothers or society have told the, us that to chase a man or to prove we we are valuable then that means we per, perhaps we are not valuable because if we were we shouldn't be trying to show that to the rest of the people the thing is we already we are already valuable but we have forgot We we grow up in in not the best conditions perhaps and um, uh, in the end we we think we have to mendicate for love when we are surrounded by people who love us and we have um, seen in social media that uh, relationships are the best thing that ha can happen to you and being single is terrible and that means if you are single you are not valuable enough not, no, you are not good enough um, that's a lie people especially um, um, Society in general wants us to have a very low self-esteem because if you are um, with a low self-esteem, that means I could sell your um, to you in a way more easy mode. I can sell you makeup and clothes that um, will make you look prettier, and but in reality they they don't. You know it. In, in society also benefits and does this also benefit from us being with a low self-esteem and not having boundaries and very low standards you know so they obviously they don't want us to empower and learn we are actually deprived they are not deprived we are deprived and i want you to get this episode with this idea and you are deprived and in, even if you still are not convinced um do this every day every day when you wake up Go to the mirror and tell yourself, you are the price, you are good enough. You are good enough and you deserve love, you deserve being in, living in abundance and you are already um, surrounded by people who love you. You are surrounded by abundance. If that, that wasn't the case, then you wouldn't be listening to me you know so you are not in an extreme in me so don't sell yourself short because if you do that then you are in a position where you will always be losing you won't benefit from 
that situation in any shape of or form you know so stop auditioning for a relationship and going on dates like you have to impress the the man one while it's the opposite the man has to impress in you you know and please don't be too available for a man also um, you your time and your youth are not renewable think about that you can't be 12 years old again and you can't rewind your time and do whatever you didn't do yesterday you can't do that so don't waste your time and focus on yourself and you are the priority of your life and this only changes if you have children then your child is also your priority you are and the children not only you but anyways even in that case you are a priority not when you are trying to impress or on your crush or, or whatever you know this is a part of the level up mentally and um, I will even say this is the very first step you have to remind yourself every time you meet that you are valuable and um, even in the case you don't think so then focus on self-care focus and do daily affirmations like I do you have a uh, the last episode was about affirmations I hope it was really helpful for you um, you know do whatever you need maybe you think you are not valuable because you your you don't consider you are pretty enough then level up your appearance if you grow up in in an not a good environment then move on or create your level up space and go to level up groups and there are a lot of them on facebook um, you could you can benefit from those groups keep yourself busy mm, making yourself better than yesterday and maybe with hobbies read um, books about self-esteem and um, every aspect you need to learn for your level up and even if um, even if you don't exactly know how to start and try to set your boundaries and your standards you know we will talk about this in the in a not very far episode you know um but the thing is love yourself and even if even if you need to stop dating for a long period of time but it will be worth, you know. Um, date with your date yourself, take yourself to nice places, to nice restaurants, and treat yourself like you would like other people to treat you. And um, that's how you will set those boundaries and those standards. And you know if people would actually focus more on their self-care this world will be not too messed up you know so i this is everything i have to say for now i hope this is really helpful and please if you struggle with with low self-esteem um, this is the last message I'm going to tell you. If you, you struggle with low self-esteem, 
it's because you allow people to tell you you are ugly or something like that you know don't let people tell you what you are don't let people um, tell which is your value because they will undervalue you you know so this is everything i have to say for now i hope this episode is helpful for you and i'm here for you if you if you really need it i like helping people and definitely i will help you and we see ourselves in the very next episode bye The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.